everyone, so I am going to be making my what I eat in a day videos a much more regular thing because the last one went down quite well and thank you all for the lovely comments on that. But I'm going to switch things up a little bit for this one with a what I eat out. So what I eat when I go out as a vegan. Hopefully it'll give you a few tips and ideas because it can be difficult, especially if you're new to veganism, eating out can be quite hard. But I find that nowadays a lot more places cater for vegans, more so vegetarians. And I find if that's the case, if there's only vegetarian options on the menu and I can remove the cheese or the natural yogurt or whatever the product is, most of the time the restaurant will be absolutely fine with it. Usually I'm really nosy and if I know I'm gonna be going out for a meal, I try and get the menu up on line and I look to see if there's anything that I can have and I can decide there and then. If there's nothing on the menu that I can have, it's a really good idea to call up the restaurant and let them know that you're coming in advance and ask them if they can prepare anything for you. And again, usually it's not a problem at all. If I go to a restaurant last minute and there's nothing on the menu that I can have, then I'll maybe order a starter as a main meal because I find that there are usually some really good vegan starter options in restaurants. Or if that's not the case, then I will order like a group of sides and have that as a main meal. It's all just one big learning curve. I've been vegan for almost a year now and I'm learning every single day still. I may be a little bit more cheesy about the restaurants that I go to if I know there's going to be a vegan option available. But it's good to try new things, new places to eat and as I say it's so easy to adapt meals, usually the restaurants are so good about it, I've never ever had a problem. So these are a few options of what I ate over the space of a week, a breakfast, a couple of snacks, a lunch, a dinner, a dessert. So for breakfast on the go one day I popped into Pret and I just grabbed one of their banana and cashew almond shakes which is literally just blended up bananas, cashews and almond milk. You have to be a little bit wary with some of their products because they can contain a few sneaky hidden ingredients but I usually check on their website if they update it or if they bring in any new things because they have all the nutritional info and the ingredients on there. But this shake they released as a more clean drink with another shake as well which is cacao and date and I've tried that one as well. I do prefer the banana and cashew and almond shake but they're both very nutritious, all good stuff, very filling from the go. It's amazing actually how much that bottle <laughs> fills me up and uh, they give you a whole load of energy as well. For lunch one day I headed to Bill's with my friend Nat and this is like our go-to date place of choice. We absolutely love it and I love Bill's because they point out the vegan options on their menu. We ordered drinks first and I grabbed the Bill's green smoothie which is made with grapes, apples, banana, spinach and it comes with a melon wedge on the side as well which I kind of put to the side for dessert. It was so delicious. They're freshly made and I love green smoothies. They're a great way to get so much goodness into you. I'm usually more of a starter person than a dessert person especially since going vegan because I just feel that there's a lot more starters available um, as opposed to desserts. For my starter I ordered the roasted squash, red lentil and coconut soup. It came with a creme fresh dressing but I just asked if that could be removed and as always the restaurant were absolutely fine about it and it also came with some salad cress and crunchy omega seeds on the top which just gave it a bit of texture and it, oh my god it made it even more tasty. It was honestly one of the best soups I've ever had. It sounds really boring but I find soups a really great option when eating out a lot of the time they're vegetarian options and in fact vegan options, you just need to make sure that there's no cream stirred through it or creme fraiche or cheese or anything like that. And then for my main I ordered the crunchy kale leaf salad which is giant chickpeas, red cabbage, radish, quinoa, red onions, char grilled vegetables. It comes with the most amazing almond and ginger dressing and then it's also topped with avocado, sesame seeds, flaked almonds. I find this really filling. There is just so much going on in there. It is so tasty. But I do usually order a side to go with it and I go for the sweet potato fries. On the menu they state that they're vegetarian only because there's a possible chance of cross-contamination with dairy products in the kitchen. To be fair, that can be the case with anything that you eat out. You kind of take that risk, but I'm really not that strict 
about things like that. Sweet potato fries are just so delicious and they're a really great alternative option to just normal fries. They're probably a little bit healthier. I also just get a jug of water as well. It's good if I maybe haven't drunk enough water as I should have done during the day. I just keep my glass topped up whilst I am eating. As I say, I love Bill's because they have their vegan options on the menu, but they also change their menus up Every season I think they usually take things off and bring new things in and it just keeps it fun and interesting. I find snacking on the go super easy, you can go for fruit, nuts, smoothies, juices but there are so many other options out there. As a drink one day I just grabbed a Vita Coco coconut water, I love these, I do these in a few different flavours but I just love the original coconut water. It's so good for you, it's so hydrating, more so than regular water and there's a really great source of potassium in there as well. And that same day I also grabbed one of these mini graze boxes which are incredible as well. You do have to check the ingredients because not all of them are vegan but this time I went for the veggie protein power box and that's edamame beans, spicy chickpeas and black pepper cashews. So much energy and protein in there again but I could probably eat about five of these. They do so many options now, they have a really great range but another one that I like to eat on the go is Naked. They do the bars and the nibbles and these were the coconut nibbles, they were so delicious and again all they're made out of is just fruit and nuts all that good stuff and then for dinner one evening we went to a local pub called the black horse if you are in the Norwich area I highly recommend giving this a try because it was really really good again they offered vegan options on the menu I again just had water with my meal which makes me sound incredibly boring but I am just such a huge water drinker and if there's no smoothies on the menu or no juices like cold pressed juices then I will just stick to drinking water. We went straight in with mains and the vegan option on the menu sounded so good. It was carbonata which was pearl barley with a vegan basil pesto, roasted peppers, there was roasted aubergine in there as well and some flaked almonds on top. It came with the most amazing flatbread too. I could have just carried on eating this for days because it was so delicious. There were so many flavours in there and I don't know what they put in that spicy flatbread, but it was insane. It tasted a little bit cheesy, so I don't know if they used something like nutritional yeast, but it was so good. And again, I ordered a side because I like food, okay? This time I ordered the paprika chips without the aioli that it came with, and these were by far the best chips I have ever eaten. I would go back to that restaurant purely for a bowl of paprika chips. I like ordering extra sides because I like having a bit more variety and as I say it takes a lot to make me full. Here I did go for a dessert because they had a vegan option on the menu. Huge thumbs up. It was a chocolate tort with grillatine cherries and it was so good. It was like a big old slab of chocolate brownie. It was so rich, so much flavour and it's just what I needed after that meal. Sometimes I really crave something quite rich and chocolatey and that was perfect. So those were a few options that I had when I went to eat out being a vegan. I hope that it's maybe given you a bit of inspiration and let me know if you'd like to see these videos amongst my standard what I eat in a day videos as just a bit of a change but I will be back with my what I eat in a day videos very very soon. I have some really good recipes to share with you. So stay tuned for those. Thank you so much for watching this one and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.